Good morning, guys. So this morning, I am going to do a one-pan meal. And that is, um, why I call it one-pan meal is because you can cook everything on one pan. And then this is going to be chicken and potatoes. Um, basically, what I'm going to do with this, um, your seasonings, you can get your seasoning. Now, this is when you can kind of create your own flavor, which you want. So I'm going to be using... Um, this roasted garlic and herb by grow mates so i figured if i'm gonna do chicken and potatoes i think a good roasted garlic and herb would be good with that on my chicken i'm definitely going to put some sage i've got rubbed sage here and just to have a little more flavor i am going to um, use some badia complete some sasson complete I'm going to use this. Okay. I love that flavor as well. I thought that would be very, very good. I just want to put a little extra pepper. So I'm put a little extra black pepper. This is the pan I'm using. This is a huge sheet roasting pan. Um, you want to call it. And it is huge. I'm also cooking something else right now. And that's uh, red beans and rice. I'm cooking that for somebody else. Um, let me go ahead and get started. I got Yukon Gold Potatoes. I have, believe it or not, this is probably how many pieces? One, two, three, two, four, six, seven wings. Seven wings. And, um, and this is uh, what I have to cook with today because I had already cooked the wings earlier. This uh, yesterday, I cooked some chicken wings and these was left over. So I'm going to go ahead and do something different with these. So I have my grill mate garlic and herb. I'm going to put that on top here. And then make sure you shake it first because sometimes it kind of settles to the bottom. Shake this one as well. I'm going to put my um, Sasson Complete. It's more, a little more saltier, so I don't have to use a whole lot of this. Just a little bit. I'm just going to bring everything up a notch. And you always got to have extra black pepper. Now you can always do red pepper, but just something about black pepper and chicken. Okay. What we're gonna do what I'm creating here is a nice good rub on this chicken. So I'm gonna just before I rub anything, I'm gonna turn it over because I need to make sure each piece is thoroughly seasoned. I'm just gonna turn that over. All right. And we're going to, uh, oh, I forgot one thing, guys. I don't know if y'all remember, I did not put sage on it. So I got to go back and put my sage. I'm going to go ahead and start again with this, like I did the other side. It's time to put my rub sage on it. I got to rub it in anyway, so I'll just put it right on here. This is a real quick way to get a, a dinner cooked, and you don't have to do much. You know, I cut up my wings only because heaven, I like, he likes the flats, I like the drummets. That way, you know, serve it and it's done. You just, if you like the whole part, it's just you and don't have to worry about nobody else. And you could just go ahead and eat what you want. So, now that the chicken has been seasoned, now I'm going to take my hands, kind of move it around, rub it in. It's like a rub. And I'm going to spread it back out. Spread it right on back out. All right. 
right. Now let's work on our potatoes. So now, and don't worry about the chicken and the potatoes touching. It's going to go together anyway, okay? Yes. Well, I'm in my own kitchen, guys. I'm at home. I'm cooking for me and my husband. So I got my potatoes cut in, like, with, well, in fingers. But what I'm going to go back is... I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna cut them in half. Each of those pieces. Some of them I can do three if I want. Just depends on how big the piece is. Doesn't matter, just what you want. I am very, you're talking about somebody particular about things. I, my, my husband just stopped that. You know, he said, you just, you can't, you take all the fun out of life when you be so uptight about everything. So I stopped doing that years ago. And he's right. It's just the way I want to do it. Oh, so, yep. So now I want to do a little something different with my potatoes. With the potatoes, I'm gonna kind of keep it a little simple. I'm gonna use this um, garlic sea salt and I'm gonna put some chives. And that's it. Now when it all mixed together, it can do what it wants to do, but that's what I'm putting on the potatoes. And I'm gonna put parsley on everything. So this does have garlic sea salt and um, also has parsley as well. I'm going to put that on here. I'm not going to put a whole lot. Just put that on. And some chives on the potatoes. It's early this morning. It's a little after nine. I like to get my dinner out the way. So that's that. And yeah, now we're gonna do the combo. We'll mix it all together. And what I mean by that is I'm gonna throw the potatoes up between the chicken. Because, yes, I do want that flavor off the chicken on the potatoes. Plus, the fat from the chicken is going to help it get nice and golden brown. And it's going to be mixed up a little bit. Now that I got it all mixed up like that, I am going to put some parsley on top. So, here's my parsley. I'm gonna put this in the oven at 400 degrees uncovered. I am going to let it cook first for about 30 minutes. I may peep in at 20 just to see how it's going. And then uh, hopefully I just need to turn it over and we'll see how many minutes after that. I'm thinking maybe about maybe a good 15 more minutes and we should have our meal. Okay guys, so this is the final result. Um, the chicken is nice and golden and crispy, and so are the potatoes. You see that nice golden brown hue on the potatoes and the chicken. Um, and I did put it on a low broil for about two minutes just to get a little bit more crispiness on my potatoes and chicken. And it is ready to go. One sheet meal. Guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these little one sheet meals where you can just put everything in a nice sheet pan and call it done, just let me know and I'll have it for you. Okay, you guys have a great morning, a great day, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.